Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new Freedom Tech Tips video. Guys, today I am going to be showing you how to remove background noise from your audio when you're making videos. I'm also going to be showing you how to remove background noise in general, uh, let's say if you're in a Discord call, and we're going to be using Discord as the example for this one. If you're a gamer out there, you'll know that most of my tutorial centers around how to make your gameplay videos better in Premiere Pro, things like audio and editing. So going by that logic, you're probably going to be using Discord as well, whether that's for business calls or just gaming, with your friends and I'm going to show you how to remove that background noise when you are in these conversations. So first we are going to be starting with Discord. So what you want to do is you want to come on over to Discord and you want to go to your settings icon and then just click on the voice and video on the left hand side just there and you'll notice you've got a whole array of options. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all for you guys is I'm just going to show you what the audio sounds like right now. So I'm going to do a let's check and see those you shadow see bars. bars? They're flickering, They're flickering without, without it picking, it picking up, any, up noise. any noise. So I'm going to stop the test there. So there's a couple things there. One, my voice was cutting out quite consistently. And two, there were yellow bars even when I wasn't even speaking, meaning that it's actually picking up white noise. So what you want to do is you want to reduce your volume. This is your input volume. So this is how much your mic will actually pick up. I reduced mine to 70%. Uh, this seems to work really well for me. So we'll just do a check right now. Okay, okay, so we're not getting any audio, audio bars, bars, but my, my voice, voice is quieter. quieter. So with that said, I'm now going to show you a handy tool that Discord actually implements into their audio system. If you look down here, guys, under the advanced option, you've got noise suppression, and it uses a side company called Crisp, and Crisp is a really, really well-known company. They have paid for services on their website, whereby you can implement software to actually reduce the noise completely uh, if you're in other voice calls and things like that. Um, but with Discord, it automatically has it built in, so you don't even really need to pay for it. So, what you want to do is you want to click on noise suppression, then just switch that on. And then if we do a let's test on 100%, so I'm going to go back to max. Now, even though it says that it's not detecting my audio, it still actually is, so ignore that message. But you are hearing me perfectly fine, and all the background noise has been completely removed, which I think is absolutely incredible. Discord is a really, really great tool to use for this. So yeah, now let's move on to Premiere Pro. So guys, I have Premiere Pro loaded in the background just here and I've already got my sample audio in. So we're just gonna listen to that right now. Hey everyone, hope you are all having a great day today. Guys, welcome back to a new Freedom Tech Tips video. So what you can hear in the background is my tumble dryer. My computer is actually in the kitchen, which is not the most ideal place to have a computer set up, especially when you're uploading daily content like what I am. So, yeah, we want to get that out. We I don't want my viewers to hear a tumper dryer in the background. I want people to hear a nice crisp audio with none of that. Very, very easy technique. So guys, what you want to do is you want to click on audio tracker in the top left hand corner. Now, if you don't have that, just click on window and then on window, just click on the audio meters and then it will pop up for you. So yeah, you want to head on over to audio tracker. There'll be an arrow just on the top left hand corner. Click on that. And as you can see, you've got four different tabs here. You want to use the first tab because our audio is on the audio one line. So it's on line one. So we're going to go to tab one. So it all syncs together. And just above this black bar, we are going to click on the drop down arrow. And just next to that, it will say noise reduction and restoration. Just head straight on over to noise. And now I'm going to put that up to 60%. So I've been doing this a very, very long time. So I already know the baseline that I look for. If I can hit 60%, that'd be brilliant. There we go. So I know that 60% works absolutely fine for me. It may sound a little bit weird when you play your audio at first. Now, the reason why it does this is because the noise suppression wants to recognize the difference between the audio that you want to hear, which is your voice, and the audio you don't want to hear, which is the background noise. So the reason why it sounds a bit weird at the start when you play your audio is because it's just the noise reduction trying to calculate the difference between the two. And then eventually your audio, as you keep playing, it goes back to normal. Once it's completely justified the difference between background noise and your audio, you won't experience the issue of your audio sounding weird when you come to exporting it. So I'm going to play that at first. And like I said, you will hear that little bit of weirdness, but it will adjust. Hey everyone, hope you are all having a great day today. Guys, welcome back to a new Freedom Tech Tips video. And as you can see, that has dramatically, absolutely dramatically removed 
the background noise. And in Discord, that noise was actually completely gone as well. So one thing I always like to just make sure is obviously when I'm recording a video, I do obviously switch off the appliances. I make sure there isn't anything running at all in the background because obviously I want to give you guys the best quality that I can, just like I'm doing right now. So examples like this just wouldn't happen in my case, but this is a very, very good example for you guys to show you exactly how you can remove the background noise in case you're in a situation whereby you cannot remove it at all. One thing I will show you before I end the video completely is at the very top of Premiere Pro, you have a audio button. You click on that one. And just on the right hand side, you have a blank area. Now, the reason why it's blank is because you haven't actually selected on any audio. So if I click on my audio right here, bang, these things suddenly light up. So you have a preset. I recommend going to preset dialogue and then just hitting default. And that gives you a bunch of options. Now, it very much depends on what type of room you're in. If you're in a large room, they have presets for large rooms. If, you, if you're in a small room, they have presets for small rooms. They have a Mel voice here. So I'm going to click on balanced Mel voice and then see what that sounds like. I've not actually tried this before. If it's dramatically better, then great for me. But if it's not, I'm just going to stick with my original no noise reduction. So yeah, let's just see what that sounds like. Hey everyone, hope you are all having a great day today, guys. I actually prefer the original, I won't lie to you. So so for me, that wouldn't actually work. But for you guys in your rooms, in your situations, that actually might be a good tip for you. I just want to show you that because it's there and it's great for you guys to play around with it because one of these presets might just do the job for you instantly rather than you having to manually do it and look at all these percentages like what I originally do. So I'm going to go back to default and then just listen to that one more time. Hey everyone, hope you are all having a great day today. Guys, welcome back to a new Freedom. Yeah, I prefer that. That is much, much better. And like I said, that isn't even really what my audio would sound like in my videos anyway, because I would switch off all of these appliances. I just had that as an example for you guys, so you guys can see exactly what to do in those situations. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's really helpful for you, and I'll see you in whichever video I next make. Guys, if you want to see more of me, head on over to my channel, Brad Han. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. And yeah, take care, guys.